The winner of America's Got Talent is coming to Roanoke. Darcy Lynn, a singer and ventriloquist, was just 12 years old when she won the contest. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas shows us one of her puppets was actually made in our area. Now she's planning a backstage reunion this weekend with the local women who helped make it happen. Uh, so it's just a little creation of mine. You may not recognize her face, really but you know her famous well. creations. Let somebody else give it its personality. Yeah, I love this one so much. Marianne Taylor is part of the mother-daughter duo in Salem that make up map puppets. Famous in the ventriloquist world, creating puppets for Terry Fader and even for Jeff Dunham. They can get away with saying anything uh -huh. and people just laugh. Her newest claim to fame is Oscar, a puppet brought to life by America's Got Talent winner Darcy Lynn Farmer. Well, I would like to introduce you to my new friend, Oscar. With her singing puppets, Darcy Lynn won season 12 of America's Got Talent by the most votes for a final performance in the history of the show. Darcy Lynn! And in a return was a runner up of America's Got Talent, the champions. Marianne and Melissa watched her each night. We're just excited to be part of Darcy's team. Like a proud mom, Marianne says she gets nervous each time one of her puppets takes the stage. It's exciting, but it's also kind of nerve wracking because I, I worry about them like it's a, my little child up there and I'm afraid the, she'll drop the puppet or the eyeball will fall out or something. So it's, it's nerve wracking, but it's exciting too. After making her puppets and seeing the journey, Marianne Anna and Melissa are excited to see Darcy Lynn and her Matt Puppet perform at their own show. Just in love with Darcy. We're so proud of her. I mean, she has just picked up a puppet and just stole everybody's hearts. In Salem, Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you. Tickets are still available for Darcy Lynn's show at the Berglund Center this Saturday. Show starts at 7 p.m. And we've posted a link for more information on our website.